Jacket here with Fig Mood on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have a pen for you from Shibui North. Uh, it is one of their new titanium pocket fox models called Kraken. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this compact pocket pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to Ruth Bolton, who is the woman behind the Shibui North brand, for providing this pen for review. Um, I have reviewed a few Shibui North pens over the last year or so, but if you are not familiar with the brand, Ruth is based out of the UK in Newcastle, which is in the northern part of England. She lived in Japan for about a decade where she studied ceramics and arushi, so a lot of her design inspiration comes from that life experience. Um, she recently released a line of titanium pens. Uh, this one arrived in this nice cork sleeve, and inside we have a pen. Uh, this particular design is the Pocket Fox, uh, and the model, like I mentioned up top, is called the Kraken. Um, as the design name would imply, this is indeed a pocket pen made from titanium. Uh, and portions of the pen have been flame treated to give some nice coloration. Um, here's a picture of what that model looks like without the anodization treatment. Um, I think it looks sharp both ways. Uh, it's called the Kraken because of the Kraken engraved on the exterior of the pen, as well as on the nib, which we'll get a closer look at here in a bit. Um, Ruth has done some interesting work lately regarding creative and unique laser engraving on her pens. Uh, you might recall one of her last pens that I featured, which had the skulls. Uh, I just think those skulls are really neat. Officially, they're called creepy little skulls, but I don't think they look very creepy. I think they look kind of happy, so I like to call them happy little skulls. Uh, here's another one of her recent models, which is inspired by donuts, of all things. Uh, in regard to this Kraken engraving, it took me a minute to figure it out, but the orientation of the beast isn't vertical, it is horizontal. So in order to get a good look at this entire graphic, you need to twist it in this orientation. Um, with a graphic like this, which encircles the pen, you never quite get a good look at it in its entirety. You just kind of get glimpses of twisting arms. And I do like the patterning on the body of the creature as well. Now, I did learn something while I was researching this review. Um, I wondered if Kraken had arms or tentacles, so I had to see what the difference was between the two. Uh, when it comes to cephalopods, like squid and octopuses and even cuttlefish, uh, in general, arms have suckers along most of their length, and then tentacles will only have suckers near the end. So an octopus has eight arms and no tentacles, while most squid and cuttlefish have eight arms and two tentacles. So maybe you'll learn something today. Not only is watching these reviews fun, but it is also educational. Okay, let's take a look at the parts and features of this compact pen. The top of the cap is flat with a rounded edge. Uh, this pen is clipless. Uh, there are two transitions on this pen, uh, both of which are very uh, smooth. There's the section up top, which is the cap, uh, and then there is the section in the back here, which is where you access the cartridge. Um, there's a design aspect of this pen regarding these parts, which I appreciate that I'll get to here in just a bit. Um, those transitions, like I said, are very smooth. The pen is completely straight, and then at the end of the barrel we have the posting threads, and at the very end of the barrel it is flat. The cap twists off with a little over four rotations. While that does sound like a lot, in practice, since this is a rather thin pen, it really doesn't feel exorbitant. Um, I do like it, however, how there is only a single cap thread, so in capping, the engraved design will always line up correctly between the segments of the pen. And underneath, we have a number 6 Bach stainless steel nib. Um, as you can see, the nib is engraved with the Kraken. Uh, it's the same image which encircles the barrel. I do like the patterning on this engraving as well. It just adds an additional element to the art. This nib is available in fine, medium, or broad, and here's a look at the plastic feed. At the beginning of the barrel, there are capping threads, and then a medium-sized step up to the remainder of the barrel. 
Now, there is no dedicated section per se on this pen. You're gripping right on the barrel. Um, even though this pen is metal, it's titanium, I don't find it to be slick at all. The engraving actually does a good job of helping you maintain a solid grip. Um, I will say that even though the arms of the Kraken kind of meander their way around the barrel and there are some smooth parts, the inconsistency of the engraving, engraving pattern uh, really doesn't bother or impede my grip at all. Um, typically, I'm not a huge fan of having the capping threads at the end here. Um, I've found that on several other pens, my grip will have a tendency to kind of drift toward the end of the barrel and slip off the end onto those threads, but I don't find that happening to me on this pen. Um, I will say, though, that both the capping and posting threads are just a little bit sharp. Um, the capping threads uh, really don't come into play much because for me, I haven't found my grip, like I said, to come in contact with them. But the same can't be said for the posting threads. Um, this pen is just not quite long enough for me to comfortably use unposted and the sharp threads kind of rub up against the inside of my hand. So that essentially forces me to post this pen when using it, which is not a big deal. When you post the cap, it does turn into a rather standard and comfortable length. Um, this pen utilizes standard international short cartridges. Uh, the back portion here unscrews. And I mentioned earlier there was a design element I cared for, and that is that the cap and the back portion here are interchangeable. Uh, the back fits on the front and the front fits on the back. Now, there's not much reason to do that, but I just like that you can. It kind of makes me feel like there was some careful attention to detail during the design and construction of the pens. Um, the threads are even a different size. The one here on the barrel is actually longer, but I just like that you could assemble this pen any which way you want. The Shibui North Pocket Fox Titanium is priced slightly higher than the standard aluminum models. With the use of titanium, that's to be expected. The aluminum models sell for $155 and the titanium ones are $180. Um, if you would care to add the anodization, that adds about $13, I believe. Um, that does get the pen in the higher end of what I feel the valuation for this model is, but what you are receiving is a handmade pen from an individual artisan. Uh, it has a unique look and uh, the artisan continues to produce quality and original designs. And that's the kind of maker that I enjoy supporting. And I've purchased some of her pens uh, on my own and I have not regretted it. Uh, they are available on the Shibui North website. I'll go ahead and put a link to it in the notes below. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Shibui North Titanium Pocket Fox Kraken. I uh, just wanted to give you another closer look at that design on there. Uh, and I do think that the anodization adds an extra element in there that I care for. Uh, and even, uh, even though uh, the uh, standard version looks really nice as well. And then wanted to give another look at the nib here. And I do like the uh, patterning on that nib as well. I think it just looks really sharp. And in regard to some size comparisons, uh, this is what the uh, Kitsune is. And this was the Skull pen that I recently reviewed. I really enjoyed that pen. think it looks really nice. Um, this is another Kitsune model that I reviewed. Uh, and I just like the engraving on this one a great deal. I think that looks sharp. Um, and then here is another Pocket Fox model. And on this one, she uh, put my Fig Boot logo on. It's hard to see, but you can see it over one of the eyes. And that's what's really neat, is that you have a, a unique and cool idea uh, and uh, basically let Ruth know, and chances are she could incorporate that. There, you can see the... Uh, the Fig Boot logo on there. But she, she can really personalize it and, uh, and make a pen that really suits your personal needs. In regard to some different pens, this is what it looks like with a Quebeco Lilliput. Uh, and then here it is with an Enso Minimalista. Uh, and then here it is with a Quebeco Sport.
Okay, in regard to some uncapped comparisons, actually I think it's a little more uh, fair to show you posted comparisons since that's how you're gonna use this pen. Uh, this is what it looks like comparable to the Enso. It's very comparable to that length. Uh, and here is the Caveco Sport. And here is the uh, Lilliput. While it's the largest of three, there will, all of those are, are very, very uh, similar when it comes to posting at least the size when posting. Here we go with the writing sample for the Shibui North. And this is the Titanium Pocket Fox Kraken. Am I gonna fit in here? Yes. Kraken. Uh, the ink that I'm using here is just the uh, black cartridge that it came with, so we're just going to call this standard black. And that is what it looks like. In regard to a writing sample, Oh, let's get that in there. Um, you're not, it is a stainless steel nib. You're gonna get, not going to get tons of line variation in here. Um, you can get some if you press it here. Uh, and in regard to some line width uh, and some ink flow. The, actually, the ink flow is very good on here, especially for one with a cartridge. A lot of times I find that using a cartridge kind of minimizes the ink flow, uh, but this one, it's really nice in regard to some reverse writing. It's a little sharp, but it does lay down an extra, extra fine line and in regard to some fast writing. The feed keeps up very well. So there we have the Shibui North Titanium Pocket Fox Kraken. Uh, that I, I really feel that Shibui North and Ruth uh, have done a really good job, like I mentioned before, of coming up with new and different and innovative things. Uh, and I think that this design on here, as well as this model in general, is, uh, is something that's really nice, especially if you like compact pocket pens. Okay, until next time, Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.